Hello everyone! Today I have something special for you. I'm gonna show you an easy technique of making your own flaky salt at home. So you don't need to spend big bucks on Maldon salt anymore and you can make your own one and it's super cheap. So let's do it! And the recipe is very easy. For every 100 liter of water you wanna use 200 grams of salt. So I'm using here two and a half liter of water and I put 500 grams of salt. I mix everything together and I have to bring it to the boil and reduce it by half. You can adjust the reducing a little bit, but if you don't reduce it enough, you're never gonna create any salt. And if you reduce it too much, you start creating salt too early. And also, you need to use the right pan. 100% you don't want to use stainless steel or non-stick pan because otherwise you're gonna destroy them. You need enamel, cast iron, or glass pan. When the liquid is reduced, I can transfer it to another container and I'm gonna leave it. And as you can see, your homemade flaky salt is creating on the top. More longer you leave it, more thicker salt you get at the end. At this stage is my salt nice and thin, so I just move it carefully on the paper towel. You can use spatula as I do or any kind of strainer will work as well. And if the salt falls down, that's not a problem at all, because you can pick it even from the bottom. But that's not everything, because you can repeat this process again and again, until you don't run out with the salt. So I'm gonna transfer it again inside the pot, bring it to the boil, and I'm gonna do it again, and now I wanna make my salt more thick. And that's mean, I'm just gonna leave it to sit for longer. And as you can see, my salt is much thicker now. So again, I just transfer it on the paper towel and leave it to dry. But you have to be very careful at this stage, because the salt is very fragile. And the last step is to dry the salt completely. And you end up with something like this, homemade flaky salt. And this is the thicker variation, which I prefer personally, because it's nice and crunchy on top of my food. And the second option is nice and thin, more close to original flaky salt from the shop. I think both are great, so you can adjust the size for the kind of food and the situation. If you enjoyed today's recipe and you learned something new, don't forget to leave thumbs up. And if you're still not subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below, so you're never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel, I will teach you every week how to cook like a pro at home. That's everything for today. Thank you for watching. And I see you soon.